Developing news, a Jonesboro nonprofit organization at the center of an audit. The Arkansas Legislative Audit recently reviewed transactions and operating procedures for the East Arkansas Planning and Development District. Maddie Sexton attempted to follow up with the organization today, but the executive director did not talk on camera. She joins us now with all the details on the misused funds. When I review what's happening in this report, it's almost like the form, I guess it's the former executive director was almost using it like a personal piggy bank. Strong words from a state lawmaker. After looking at spending habits from the East Arkansas Planning and Development District, the Arkansas Legislative Audit revealed numerous discrepancies surrounding the processing of a $250,000 small business loan to Radiate Comfort Systems, Inc. in December of 2017. Additionally, the district did not maintain or provide to the bank adequate documentation to support dispersal of loan proceeds. RCSI did not repay the loan and the nonprofit did not seek recourse. The ALA confirmed the district returned gift funding of more than $600,000 to the state in October of 2018 when the program was terminated by the General Assembly. Aside from this, the former executive director piled up quite the tab before she was terminated in September of 2022. The third objective was to determine if employee compensation credit card and other expenditures as well as other transactions were properly documented and authorized. Our records show Melissa Rivers was the former executive director. The ALA reports the EAPDD provided a vehicle and related expenses to Rivers, who did not have car allowance on her 2022 IRS W-2 form. Finding over $9,000 of improper charges made by Rivers over 14 billing cycles, including a nearly $500 reimbursement for her daughter's airfare last Halloween. And this isn't all. Additionally, the district paid four employees over $17,000 for unused vacation leave. After investigating 14 credit cards, the ALA found nearly $95,000 of undocumented charges. Hired in March of this year, the new executive director James Morgan was recently asked about an $11,000 charge for a staff Christmas party. Do you have any idea how in the world you could spend that much money? Uh, when I looked at the details, it, again, it's something that should never have happened and would not happen under me. Other district board members at the hearing last Friday were Vice President and Greene County Judge Rusty McMillan, as well as the elected chair and mayor of Wynn, Jennifer Hobbs. The report states the board did not establish or monitor adequate internal controls and failed to provide sufficient fiscal oversight. In Jonesboro, Maddie Sexton, K8 News. Maddie, thank you. This report has been referred to the second judicial district prosecuting attorney and the attorney general. You can read the full report right now on our website.